Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at installing and configuring Digium analog cards with Trixbox CE. Now, with most versions of Asterisk, it's actually very simple to get a Digium card up and running. There's just a series of commands that you can run to configure the card, and it will set everything up for you. But if you're using something that's based on free PBX, then you're going to have to set up the trunks and everything in there. And that's really an easier way of, of going about it. And Trixbox CE certainly makes it easy and makes the whole process a little simpler than doing it with the rest of the commands, although we will look at how to do that uh, manually later on. So initially, we're, we need to take the card and install it into the server that we're going to use. And you'll notice on any of the analog cards, there is a power outlet on here. Actually, it's power input. And we need to make sure that we take power from our power supply and plug it into there. Now, if you just have analog phone lines connected, this really isn't that big of a deal. But if you have any FXS ports where you're going to be ringing analog phones, then this is absolutely mandatory so that there's enough power to push through the card out the ports to ring those phones because it requires a big jump in voltage. But regardless, I always like plugging it anyway because otherwise I'm going to get different warnings during the install process and I just would rather not see those. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And if we're looking at a, the card, this happens to be the eight port card and uh, we're going to configure the, the four port card as well. The front ones are the lower numbers. So this is going to be the one through four, and this is going to be five through eight on the back. So we're just going to go ahead and install that in and power up the computer. Then we're going to be ready to go in and configure the card within asterisk and then set up the trunks within the PBX configuration tool. So all we have to do is log into our asterisk box and run a couple simple commands. So here I've logged in as the root user account, and all I need to do is type setup-pstn. It's going to stop asterisk. It's going to do hardware analysis, see what's in the box. It's going to configure the different configuration files, and then it will start asterisk up. And if everything worked right, it should show us the different ports that we've now configured. Whole process should only take a few seconds, and there we have it. As I said, I'm actually configuring a machine that has a four port card in it, and now all four ports are up and running. Now we need to go to the web interface and configure those trunks. So from Trixbox, we'll go to the PBX settings. We're going to go to our trunks, and there should always be a Zap G0 trunk there, which we shouldn't have to do anything with for that to work, so we should be good to go there. We're going to set our outbound routes, and I've got one right here. You can select the different dialing options that you want. Here I've got local and long distance. I can add toll free, I can add international and emergency. I've got the zap channel there. It's actually a dotty channel. Submit the changes and now I've got my outbound routes all set up. For my inbound routes, basically I'm just going to take anything that comes in and send it to an extension. And that should be good to go. Don't need to set up any DIDs or caller ID routing apply those configuration changes. And now the system's ready to make and accept phone calls. So setting up a Digium analog card with Trixbox CE, very, very easy. Now the version of Trixbox CE we were using was 2.8.0.3, which uses asterisk 1.6. That's a good point that I'd recommend everyone starting with. It's all the newest code, works really well. And again, you can see just how simple it is to configure. Now, if we wanted to do that whole process manually, we could. So we can 
just run the dotty gen conf and this will go ahead and create the files for us. But what we're going to want to do is stop asterisk, run the config file generator, then run a dotty CFG, restart the dotty services, and then restart asterisk. So it's a little more complicated to do it manually, which you may need to do with some particular asterisk distributions. But you can do it, it's not that difficult. Or again, with Trixbox CE, you type setup-pstn, and it does all the work for you. So if we run the dotty gen conf here, as you can see, it just creates the config files. Then we'd need to restart the service, bring asterisk back up, and we'd be good to go. And then we could go in and configure those trunks again. So either way, whichever way you need to do it, it's very simple, very quick to get a Digium analog card configured with Trixbox CE 